Hey guys, Corbin with the Wasatch Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to go over, it's going to be a preview. We're not actually really going to go over, we're going to go over some of the details. This isn't a review, this is a preview of this item. Anyways, today we're going to be going over the Alpine Design Extra Large Inflatable Sleeping Pad with Pillow. And it does, does come with an inflatable pillow. I don't have the pillow here at the moment. We're just going to do the preview on the pad. This pad will hold up to 225 pounds of weight which is not too bad, it'll hold a pretty large sized person. Uh, the air pad size is 78 inches long by 25 inches wide and 3 and 3 quarter inch thick. It's a nice thick air pad. I did weigh this and it comes in at two and a half pounds which is not too bad with a built-in pump. It does have a built-in foot pump, so you don't have to blow it up with your own air. Another great thing about having the foot pump is in really cold weather, if you are doing, uh, you know, if, it, if you're doing an, an overnight, it's not going to be as bad of an issue as if you're doing a multi-day hike in the winter, uh, two, three days where you're blowing this up, deflating it, blowing it up again the next night when you get to camp, deflating it blowing it up the next night when you get to camp. What happens is condensation starts building up inside of these from your breath and your condensation can actually freeze inside of there and make for one heck of a cold night. So you want to keep that in mind that you either want a you know these can either come with a built-in foot pump or you can get them uh, with the sack. The stuff sack is actually the pump that blows up the uh, pad. Um, it is double rip stop textured polyester uh, it has a PV, PVC coating, coating on it, I can't speak right now, excuse me, for added insulation and durability. Quick closing twist air valves, it's got two of them for deflating. The stuff sack and uh, repair kit is included. So we will uh, bust this out for you. Alright, so I'm going to take it out of the stuff sack for you here. Decent sized stuff sack, it isn't hard to get it back in. Um, it rolls easy goes back in together nicely no problem throw that aside here is the pad we'll roll it out and this is I enjoy this pad for the weight uh, for the weight the comfort in this pad is just absolutely phenomenal so you can see it's good sized now this is going to shrink as you pump it it is going to shrink down. When I first opened this up, I was like, oh man, that's going to take up, you know, a good part of our three-man tent. Because any, any backpacking tent, you know, three-man, it's a, it's a cozy three-man. <laughs> so down at the bottom here, you can see this foot pump. Um, well, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you a better view here. You have two of the twist valves for either blowing it up or letting the air out when you're rolling it up. So I've closed those now, of course. Now let me show you the integrated foot pump. It's a big bag. Pop the top on it. You cover the hole and push the bag. And it pushes air in. Can you hear the air going in? So, let me get it down to this end until it's spread. You guys can see how quickly you can blow this thing up. I mean, it's not way quick, but it's also not, it doesn't take forever, which is nice. A little better shot in the top. 
There's your foot pump and valve. Gives you some directions on there. And that's it for our preview of the Alpine Design inflatable sleeping pad. I will be coming out here in maybe a month or so after using this bad boy and I'll give you guys the review on it. Again, thank you for watching this episode of the Wasatch Gear Review.